Hello gorgeous. I'm going to show you guys my version of Hollywood Waves. My hair is clean. I let it mainly air dry, but what I did was I created a part, pinned the sides down with these little clips. What are they called? You can find them on Amazon. I'll put a link for you guys. Besides the fact that they're adorable, they don't create any dents in the hair. I let it air dry parted like this so that way when I take out the clips and I'm ready to start styling my hair, it's already laying in the direction that I want it to be laying in. As always, you want to section off your hair. So the curling iron that I'm working with is this one from Numi. It is one that I've had for I mean, maybe like five, six years. Um, it's lasted, it still works. It's one of those that has a whole bunch of de detachable ones, but I honestly only just keep the biggest one on there because it's the only one that I use. So you just grab a section. A key when you're using these kinds of clipless curling irons is you wanna hold the barrel in the opposite hand of the side that you're working on because I like to have the iron pointing downwards. All I'm doing here is I'm wrapping and twisting, wrap, twist, wrap, twist, wrap, twist, and I go almost all the way to the very ends. If you're not really used to curling your hair like this, I do recommend using a heat protecting glove. I'm pretty much used to burning my fingers, so it's not really that big of a deal, but I mean, it doesn't happen that often anyway, just because I'm used to using a curling iron like this. So obviously use a heat protecting glove if you feel like you need it. I personally hate working with them because I need to be able to feel the hair. A major key is once you're ready to let the hair go, don't just let it drop. Put it in your hand like this and hold it for a few seconds to let it kind of cool down a little bit and then very gently let it down. If you just drop the hair right away, it's almost like throwing a penny off the Empire State Building. It makes the hair heavier, which will weigh it down, which will loosen the curl more than you want it to. And when the hair is still really hot, which it's at its hottest once it comes off the iron, it's the most susceptible to taking shape. And you always want the curls to be a lot tighter than what you actually want them to end up being because naturally, especially if you have longer hair, thicker hair, it's gonna fall after some time. And that's pretty much all I'm doing for my entire head, but no one thing is I always curl my hair away from my face. Some people like different variations of curls. That's a different look. So wrap, twist, wrap, twist, wrap, twist, wrap, and twist. The reason why I twist and wrap, twist and wrap, twist and wrap is because I don't want the hair laying completely flat around the barrel. That'll make it look kind of like a ribbon and it looks really strange. It looks like the kinds of curls that girls in like junior high do when they don't know how to curl their hair properly. At least, well like now probably they do know how to do that because there's YouTube, but when I was growing up, they didn't know anything. I was one of them, don't worry. I still don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> So I just drop it into my hand and it's kind of hot so I kind of move my hand a little bit and I let it cool for a few seconds and then just slowly let it down and leave it alone. Don't touch it. Don't do anything to it yet. And I also found this really great mat on Amazon that helps to protect things from heat. So like when you want to use your curling iron on surfaces that'll probably melt, there's these heat mats. It has grips too so the curling iron doesn't like roll off. And obviously this is probably a good time to listen to, oh, I don't know, my podcast. <laughs> Whenever I'm doing my hair, if I'm not filming a video, I'm usually listening to podcasts or audiobooks. If I could recommend any, I would obviously recommend my own podcast. New episodes go up every single Thursday and it's all like motivational advice and self-help, things like that. There is some beauty stuff too, but it's mostly motivational and self-help. So if you've loved my motivational type videos, I think you'll really like the podcast episodes. It's called the Jessica Harlow Podcast. I'll put a link to it in the description box down below so you guys can check that out. Cute. So I'll just show you guys what it looks like at the ends. So I'm not going to touch those. I'm just going to let them cool. And I'll go ahead and move on to the next section. High point of my brow, straight across, kind of. <laughs> You don't have to do a center part for this look, by the way. I just think it looks more glam that way, but it still looks really beautiful even with a center part because I've done that before and I've liked it. And I prefer to use a clipless barrel curling iron. I just feel like they give me a lot more control. Of course, like if you only have a curling iron that has a clamp, just don't use a clamp. Just curl over it. Sometimes it could create a little bit of a dent, not gonna lie, but it's not usually like noticeable or anything serious. You can get away with it. So this piece right here is usually the piece that is, I would say, the most important because it's like right in front of your face. 
So you really want this to look good. So I take it from there and then I start curling from right about here, not at the root, but like right about here. I just feel like it lays better that way. And right away, I clip that so that the heat can help it to really stay this way. And I'm gonna do that once I'm done with this too. Serious business when I get to this part. Okay, hold again, unclip, lay it how you want, and cut the clip again. Just hit it with some heat so it knows who's boss. You can even do that here. Obviously be careful not to burn your forehead or the part here. Just really quickly do some little taps where there's actual hair. It also helps with flyaways too, actually. So I let that cool for a few minutes and then I go ahead and I brush it out. So just to show you guys what it looks like. Honestly, like I do like how this looks. It's not bad. I do wear my hair like this sometimes. It does end up falling after about like an hour, two hours into a really nice, a little bit looser than this. So I take my brush, just a normal paddle brush, and I gently just give it a nice brush. And then it breaks everything up and you get this beautiful, soft wave. It reminds me a lot of like a Veronica Lake. pretty and fluffy and then I just do this and zhuzh it up. It's just about having a really big, fluffy, beautiful hair.